What's going on? G Vance here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today's video, guys, but I'm even more excited about today's sponsor, Huawei App Gallery. Yeah, Huawei App Gallery is an alternate mobile gaming slash app store that offers exclusive offers to all familiar top games in the market. From August 8th to September 11th, Huawei App Gallery is offering some exclusive offers just for you, up to 50% off. Do not miss out on it. If you play Rush Royale on another platform, worry not. You can download Rush Royale from App Gallery, log in via Facebook, take advantage of these amazing offers. There are five coupon codes just for you. Firstly, you get 50% off if you spend a pound 99, which you can claim daily. Secondly, 27% off when you spend eight pound 99 on a pack, which you can also claim daily. I know, it's getting good. Another 27% when you spend £18.50. This pack you can claim four times during the entire promotion. Yo, the savings don't end. Fourth offer, you get 18% off when you spend £18.50. This pack you can claim up to four times. That's not all. When you spend a total of £100, you can claim a coupon worth £17 to spend on anything. Wow. This can be claimed once on a first come first serve basis. These offers are available in the UK and Ireland with UK being the cheapest platform for this promotion. If you aren't in these regions, do not worry because you can easily change the location in the settings as you can see right here on the screen. Don't miss out on these amazing offers and thank you again for Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring today's video. We tried a lot of things and it didn't work. I wanna make sure I get this 100% right for you guys, okay? Of course, the engineer support failed. I tried a few more times for engineer carries. I tried with Blade Dancer, and I failed every single time. I'm just gonna tell you guys this right now, okay? Now, I'm like, I started thinking. I'm like, why am I losing? Why are we not getting the dub here? Even with a carry, wave 39 is right, Is that's what's holding us, okay? So, I queued up Demon Hunter for the carry for the win, okay? Now, can you be 4-7 without support? I didn't try a Shaman carry. Of course, a Shaman carry would drastically change the situation. But I just, I'm like, no, we gotta, we gotta be able to beat it. PvP, I mean... Uh, damage, damage. That's what we're, we're trying. Hit that like button, okay? Just to show you. Do you have any playing around? Oh, we're already at our thing. I'm playing games, guys. I'm going to give you guys the, the truth. And I'm going to give you guys the wins. Um, okay. There, let's do that. Uh, now. Alchemist has changed the entire situation for me. Because I'm like, I need a Corsair situation. That's what I thought. So I'm like, I need a Corsair situation here. So what is the closest thing I have to a Corsair and that you'd have to a Corsair as a free to play if you don't already have him? Bam! Get him! Alchemist, baby! You know it! Guys, we recorded at least 30 to 40 minutes of footage already, and I'm not even using any of it because I'm, I'm like, no, we lost every single time at wave 39 each time. Let's see. I'm, I'm confident we'll still win it with the Demon Hunter carry, but I just want to make sure that it it's never looked this good. I'm just going to let you know. We took out Grindstone. We put in a banner. We took out... What else did we take out? Because we put Alchemist in here. Uh, what was that other card? I don't even remember. We took it out and we put Alchemist in here. And Alchemist has literally saved our lives over here on the free-to-play side. Just look. Just watch. This is the dub, guys. This is the dub. Then we're going to move on the floor. Eight. They thought you were going to stop, G-Man. Hit that like button if you have not already. Okay? Hit it. Hit it. That other build was a little bit too wonky, yo. That's what I want on the damage side, yo. I need it to be going that crazy. Okay, look. We got it. We're holding our own. Alchemist, get him and get him at high tiers. I wish we could kill this guy a lot faster because he's going to, like, slow down everything we got going on over here. Okay. Demon Hunter, just take care of him. Now, the only thing that... I'm not even going to jinx myself and say it. I'm going to wait till the effects come out. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, because I'm like, if we get cursed tile, we're dead. That's it. That's all I can think. That's all I can say. Now, alchemists are moving way slower now, so that's going to slow us down. No portal keeper in here. Should you run portal keeper? Absolutely not. Don't even think of it. Don't even think of it. Does it go away or does it stay on our field? Remember, its strategy is always going to be the same. You're never going to stop merging until you have a field that looks like it can... It can stand alone a little bit. Because look what we got. A lot, yo, you know your field. You don't want your field full of tier ones. You don't want your field full of tier twos. You need threes, fours, and possibly fives. Okay. Right now I'm a little locked up. There's no way we can get rid of that stuff. We really have to merge to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of any of my alchemists because I don't know if we're gonna get lucky and get such another tier four alchemist. We got one tier four alchemist. But I would like to merge out these two tier threes, but no. He's just so good to be cutting the da the wave, the health of those minis that think that they're just gonna just go, just go, and go, yo. Ugh. Ugh. Demon Hunter didn't get hit, which was nice. I like that. Neither did Bomb. So, uh, over on the Whaley side, nothing really is going wrong. Let's send an emo to the mate. <laughs> I am carrying myself, man. I carry myself, man. Now, with Shaman support, it's going to be 10 times easier. I think I'll use the exact same build with Shaman and see if it can do it. I don't know, man. I don't think it can. I don't think... Actually, you know what? It probably can. Shaman support. Because we've looked at this. We're at wave 32 already. Even though this is floor 7. Floor 7 is going to be the easiest floor, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm wondering if we can even really tackle floor 8. I'm kind of glad that floor, my previous floor 7 footage that I was recording, we kept losing. Because, honestly, floor 8 is where it's at. Floor 8 is where I hear a lot of you guys crying. So, we really want to take down floor 8. Of course, damage dealer, if you're a whale, if you somehow have this at this level in the game, floor 8 is not going to be a problem for you. But, if you're struggling, if you're struggling. And should we, I think we'll floor 8 with, um... I think we'll floor eight with. I don't know if I want a shaman support on floor eight. I think we'll do the same thing on floor eight. But I want to see, show you guys what a shaman support of this deck will look like and what you can choose because now you can play a little bit different. So I think we will do that. We will do a shaman support because you can definitely play a little different when it comes to picking cards because now you don't have to worry, you don't worry about leveling up your cards on your own. You're kind of worried about getting your field set up. You can play cards like Executioner. So he's going to be, he's definitely coming in here, okay? He's definitely coming in here. Remember, giveaway still going on. It's going to be in the pinned comment down below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hop over there after the end of the premiere and go follow. Three premier passes. Okay, it looks it's looking nice. It's looking good. I might bump it up to four at the end of the month. Don't miss your chance. Don't, 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 don't miss your chance to enter and win. Don't miss your chance to be a winner. Now we have crazy amounts of mana. Oh my gosh, the luck is on our side. That was a bad drop though. I don't want to lose my boring says, but I will if I have to. Can we get a tier 3? Let's search. Let's try and see if we can get back a Boris at high level. We do have a tier 3 over there. <sighs> it's not the best RNG, but I guess it'll do for now. Alchemist is really going to be that that card for you. I'm, tr I'm telling you guys. RNG is not treating us the best, but it was treating us a lot better. Yo, Alchemist is that card. Okay, make sure you put Alchemist in there because it's literally Corsair, a much weaker version of Corsair. Let's get that straight. Way weaker, 10 times weaker. But it gets the job done. You see that they're just constantly walking through, constantly getting damage. And we got the high tiers on them. I do want to merge out those tier fours, but I don't know. I don't think I'll do it. I don't think I'll do it. But we're actually holding our own. I want to see wave 39 to see what that's going to look like. I want to see what wave 39 is going to look like, guys. Let's see this. Let's see this. We got, what, two waves left. And then we got Grandmaster. So not even a hard boss. We don't even have Assassin in Floor 7. Come on, bro. 
What are we really scared of over here? What are we really scared of? What are we really doing? Now, I'm definitely not dropping my things, and I'm not getting rid of those alchemists, because wave 39 is where you're really, really going to want damage to cons constantly be going down with your alchemist, yo. That's the floor. So I'm actually quite happy. I got one of them on a on a on a on a banner, so that's good. Too much out, too much chemist though, man. I need to get rid of those. Okay. Here it is. Is this 39? This is 39. Let me do this slow. These guys down here. Let me hold mine. Let me just hold mine. Oh, he's already split. Oh my gosh. This better be able to do it. This better be able to do it. Okay, jeez. Come on, bombs! Are you gonna like stall that? Oh my gosh. I think I don't know. Come on! Oh we did it! Oh, oh my god! Okay. I held him down there. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Alright, that's it. That's game. This is where our biggest problem is going to be with that wave 40. Well, not really. <sighs> that was tough. Guys, that was insane. Okay, let's just check the stats really quickly at the end screen. Oh, let me see. Boris for 27, Alchemist for 21. So Alchemist really, really, really putting in that work. Oh my gosh, okay, that's floor seven, guys. It's gonna be a battle, yo. Even with the guide, it's going to be a battle. But that is worst case scenario without support. I think with support, I mean with a shaman supporter and that player playing a little bit of damage at the same time, might not need to. But let's see, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do because Zealot, I think we'll give him a shot. If you are not in a clan and you wanna be joining up a free to play clan, join our clan spaces are running out and this is a free to play clan so we're not really going to be kicking anybody out over here this is just a fun clan for us we're just having fun three eight zero six four four make sure you subscribe for the giveaway let's now get let's set up a um a shaman support for our, our deck I'm using but we're gonna use it let's go for a zealot builds I think we we just gotta have all our bases covered. I think I'm gonna go for. I don't know if I want to play Banner. I want to play Grindstone with this. I want to play Grindstone with this version. So let's Grindstone this one. Okay, guys, check this out. Floor eight, floor seven. We'll check out floor nine later. I've come to the conclusion that it's gonna be it's almost impossible to beat it without two damage dealers, if you're free to play 100%. I don't think, if you're missing the cards, obviously if you have the red cards, you can beat it, but I don't think you're gonna be able to beat this with your free to play cards and somebody shamaning you. Maybe if they have clock, I haven't tested it with the clock support, but it's not looking good. I think you're gonna need that damage dealer on your opponent's side for the last two waves, because you're gonna need serious help there especially if you're even going to start talking about floor uh nine and floor ten these are the two decks that i've come up with these are the ones that beat floor seven floor eight with your opponent running a damage dealing deck okay so the only issue i found is when you hit floor 39 it's a tough one if your opponent can't really clean those things up or if you have if you just got lucky and got some of the cards you necessarily needed of course zealot he's not gonna have the same problem as the boris deck it's a really much quicker win with zealot so i would go with the zealot build that i have okay guys that's gonna be it let me know all your dungeon tips and tricks and secrets down below and i'll catch you guys in the next video